Hello and welcome to the Deception Tips Podcast, where you will learn amazing cues to detect deceit that will help you read people like never before. I'm your host, Spencer Kaufman. Let's get started. Welcome to Deception Tip 19. Thank you for tuning in once again to this podcast and for your continued loyal listening. If you're really enjoying these podcasts, I'd love it if you'd leave a review, let me know what you think of the podcast, share it with your friends so other people can listen as well. Last time in episode 18, we talked about something that is a very unique sign of deception, and it's a sign that is highly noticeable once you are aware of it and once you start to pay attention to it. And the reason it's highly noticeable is because it sounds so off when people talk like that, because normally in regular everyday conversation, people don't usually talk like that. What we're talking about is distancing language. When people lie, they often tend to distance themselves from the person with whom they are accused of being involved with or caught up with in the lie. For example, the famous politician Bill Clinton had his Monica Lewinsky scandal and what he said was, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And he used distancing language there. He said, that woman. Other politicians have used this as well. A lot of other people have lied with distancing language. Distancing language is something that is done to emphasize the fact that they are not in any way connected to them. They are not connected to that person at all. In normal conversation, we would use nouns or pronouns, things like her, him. We would call them by name. We would do things like that. We wouldn't really say that person or that woman. It's also something that's used in business when people are trying to separate themselves. We would never do business with that company. They're distancing themselves saying, no, we are different. We are in no way connected with that organization. It's They are separating and they are making double sure that anyone listening knows. Usually it is an indicator of deception because, like I said, people don't normally talk like that. Today... We are going to talk about something else that is a sign of deception primarily displayed on the face. Now, this is a very unique sign of deception in that it kind of goes against some of the stuff that you have learned in the past episodes. And I'll kind of clue you in and give you a little hint on what it's about. You can maybe figure it out before I tell you. So, in episode 16, we talked about symmetrical gestures. And in episode 14, we talked about symmetrical expressions. Now, in general, when people are telling the truth, their expressions, their gestures, they must be symmetrical. They should happen on both sides of the body. With the symmetrical gestures, we said that when people shrug their shoulders, it should happen with both shoulders. If it happens with one, it's more likely deceptive or they have no confidence in what they are saying. With symmetrical expressions, smiles are typically the most symmetrical expression and the easiest one to see and to talk about, for example, because Smiles, if they're real, they will happen on both sides of the face. Both of the cheeks go up, both of the eyes get crow's feet in the corners, etc. They happen symmetrically. In episode 12, simultaneous gestures with gestures happening simultaneously with the speech, that's another form of symmetricality. Usually truthful stuff happens with symmetricality. However, in this case, with this deception tip, there is an asymmetrical facial expression. This is the expression of contempt, and it is the only, I'll say it again, it is the only asymmetrical expression that happens on the face. It is the only one that you will see happen on one side of the face. Contempt is something that will happen with a lip corner. Now, whether it's the right or the left could depend on the person. However, usually, it is the right because, as we've said, the right brain is more involved with deception. It is usually the left side of the face that has more expressiveness when people are being deceptive because that gives evidence to the right brain is more deceptive. So the left brain is more truthful, which means the right side of the face would have more of the positive or truthful facial expressions. So Contempt can be shown on either side of the face, which is another kind of strange thing. It can happen on a lip corner. It's usually a lip corner. One lip corner goes up a little bit. Usually it is the right, but it could be the left, so you have to pay attention to that. So here it is. 
This is deception tip 19. Contempt is the only asymmetrical facial expression. Liars may display it when targets suggest incorrect or inept answers. Here it is again. Contempt is the only asymmetrical facial expression. Liars may display it when targets suggest incorrect or inept answers. So what this means is that when someone is telling a lie and they feel like they have fooled the target or the target starts guessing things that may be wrong or they start trying to put the story together or maybe the target starts losing their temper or becomes frustrated, the liar will often show signs of contempt. Now contempt is a sign of superiority or thinking that they are superior or that they are smarter. You'll often see it when a liar believes they may have fooled the interrogator or when the liar believes that the interrogator is on the wrong track. Obviously then that would mean that they have fooled them. But it usually the most common place where you'll see it is if someone is lying about something or you're trying to get them to divulge information but they're not talking and they maybe say a few things to kind of lead the person on a path and then the target starts saying well is it here or well is it here or well is it here and the person who is lying will display contempt when the target is getting off track because they know that they are fooling them they're saying yes they're barking up the wrong trail I'm winning it's more like a sign of knowing that the person who is asking and guessing all of these things is inept. So, for example, if you're the boss and your employee shows contempt, you probably want to fire that employee because they think that they're superior to you and that you are an idiot. So that's kind of the thing. Contempt is usually a nonverbal sign that is directly calling someone an idiot. So we will talk more about this after this. Have you ever went to purchase a vehicle or appliance and weren't really sure if the salesman was telling the truth? Now there's a book that will help you spot the telltale signs of lying. It's Spencer Kaufman's A Guide to Deception. Grab your copy today on SpencerKaufman.com or any major retailer. Contempt is an expression that you hope you never see when you are speaking with someone you work with or with your spouse or your significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be. Because if they start showing contempt when you're talking, then things are definitely going in the wrong direction. They believe that they are superior to you. They believe you are inept. You are an idiot. Whatever the case may be, but they have no confidence in you and they think you are kind of worthless per se. So if you start seeing contempt on your spouse or your employees, then you maybe need to have a serious chat with them and find out what exactly is going on. Now, contempt is a pretty easy emotion to spot because it only happens on one side of the face. Like we said, it is the only asymmetrical facial expression. Typically, it will happen on the right side of the face because the right side is controlled by the left cerebral hemisphere, which is most of the time truthful, positive, true emotions. The right cerebral hemisphere is associated with the left side of the face, and it is more prevalent in false emotions or lying behavior. Now, I say more prevalent because both sides of the brain or both cerebral hemispheres can participate in false emotions. There are people who have had their corpus callosum, which is the area that connects the two halves of the brain together. They get that severed due to epilepsy treatments. A very severe form of epilepsy treatment is to sever the corpus callosum or sometimes they've just been born that way or something has happened and their two cerebral hemispheres aren't in as tight of a communication as someone else's who's are connected and they still can display signs of deception on either side of the face even though their hemispheres may not be communicating exactly like someone who's are connected. So that's why I say it's more prevalent on one side of the face to the other because the right cerebral hemisphere has more of an influence on lying and false emotions. Contempt being a truthful emotion would be predominantly on the right side of the face. So you can watch for that. But keep in mind, if you see one lip corner go up, it could be contempt. So you always have to watch out for the context of the situation. What just happened? Did they witness somebody do something? Did they see a dumb move? Maybe they just thought of something stupid. You never know. 
but pay attention to the context of the situation and also look for other signs, because there are always other signs, especially when contempt is displayed when lying. If it's displayed when lying, it's a superiority gesture, which means they may steeple their fingers, they may lean back in their chair. If they get really superior, they may put their feet up on the table, and then you know that that's definitely a sign of some type of contempt or superiority. They certainly believe that you have been fooled. Contempt is one of those emotions that can be dangerous because it is a type of a complex emotion. I know of one story where there was a big business meeting and one of the guys was sitting at the table and he had his hands crossed or his like his fingers interlocked behind his head and was leaning back in his chair and kind of not not really had his feet up but kind of had his feet kicked out and someone said well I hope that person is the boss and another guy said well why is that well because if he's not the boss then you're going to have trouble and they said yeah he is the boss the reason they said that is because if someone who is an underling or a regular employee is acting like that, like that superiority, like they rule the show and it's not the boss, then that employee is going to be problematic for that boss because they clearly would believe that they are better, that they would do better than the current boss. Now this happens and they may be right or they may be wrong, but the point is that body language gives it all away. So if you start seeing that with your employees, you see contempt, you see them showing superiority gestures, then maybe you need to have a talk with them about that. Not in a bad way, but maybe in a way like, what's going on? Do you think you know you could do a better job? Do you have any suggestions for me? Maybe you can work with them. And if their reasons have legitimacy, if they have a solid basis and they have some good recommendations, take them up on it and you will form a great alliance and they'll become an asset for you. But if they're unfounded, then it's probably best to either have a good talk with them or get rid of them somehow. And that's the way that is. If people are showing contemptuous behaviors and superiority behaviors and they're unfounded, as in so a lot of people with mental illnesses like narcissistic personality behaviors or disorders, they are very contemptuous towards other people. They think that they are the best, that no one else can do things that they can do, that no one else is good enough, that they know exactly what to do and when to do it, and everybody better just listen to them. Uh, I had one guy always tell me, he said, they pee perfume. Everything is just perfect for them. And really, it's not, because oftentimes they don't do as good of a job as they really think they do, and really, sometimes they do a worse job than other people. But in their minds, they're the best, and they do show a lot of contemptuous behaviors. However, getting back to lying, you will often see contempt mixed in or concealed inside a smile. Liars oftentimes use smiles to mask their other false or their behavioral leakage. A lot of times when people have uh, nonverbal signs that are that come out where the unconscious is trying to leak that behavior and they may be aware of it. They may know of some micro expressions or they may understand a little bit about how the body works and how the Unconscious always wants to be truthful and how it's their conscious mind that is coming up with this lie. So they may be aware of this and they may feel that certain things happen. They may think that maybe they just leaked a sign or maybe they twitched their eye or something and they'll mask it with another emotion. And oftentimes they mask with smiles. So you'll see contempt a lot with smiles. Like I said, you maybe see it on the right side of the face. This is why smiles are predominantly overemphasized on the left side of the face. Because if a liar starts to feel contempt coming on the right side of the face, that's a contempt is really like a quarter of a smile. It's like that archaic smile, the Michelangelo smile, where the lip corner just kind of goes up a little bit. It's not a disgust, but it's contempt. It's like a quarter of a smile. So a lot of times liars will see that coming on, and then they just continue the smile and turn it into a full smile, but then it's unbalanced on the left side of the face. So watch out for that. Contempt in lying oftentimes will look like a smile, and then of course it will be asymmetrical at that point. So now you've seen contempt and asymmetricality, which is two signs that can help you out with that. So watch out for contempt. It's a pretty easy sign to see. You'll see it on one side of the face, and it'll often be masked with a smile. It'll happen when People think that they are superior to you 
and you will know because there will always be other signs of deception or other signs of leakage that go along with it. I want to thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Deception Tips Podcast, and I encourage you to share it with your friends, subscribe to the feed, check out the Deception Tips blog, and take a look at the books I have available. And as always, tune in next week for a new Deception Tip.